This is Dee with Loving Dee Naturally. I am back in front of the camera and I know you're wondering where have I been. Well, uh, it started off with me taking a much needed break and um, it then it turned into me knowing I needed to make videos but um, I got lazy so you know you get used to um, getting out of the discipline of making videos and blogging and posting and all of that and you begin to fill that time with something else because there's always something to do um, especially when you have a family then it turned into me beginning really to doubt and question whether I should whether I should be or, or should continue to make videos I began to feel that um, you know there are so many natural haired vloggers there's so many videos on natural hair what makes mine any different you know um, I don't do a lot of styles I don't use a lot of products so um, I began to run out also of uh, video ideas um, and you know it kind of I started kind of thinking you know has my time come to an end here on YouTube I felt like my um, initial goal well, I knew my initial goal in starting a YouTube channel was to share my hair journey, which I have done that. But um, just a series of events just started taking place where um, just conversations with people online and they would say, well, we miss you and you are missed. And I'm like, oh, wow. Even though I, I, I feel when, you know, I was doing water only and I feel like there's not a whole lot to talk about with water only except, you know, preening and the different steps and the things that you go through. But um, how much can you talk about water only without getting redundant? I just happened to have a conversation with my cousin. This is my tea. I'm a tea drinker. I love tea. Maybe I'll do a video on all the different teas I have and uh, my love for tea. But anyway, so a series of um, just conversations and events just started happening. I had a conversation with my cousin. And she was, you know, I was just telling her, she had asked me to be a part of, of, of a project that she's putting together. And um, I had told her that I had stopped my YouTube. I hadn't really been active on it for a while. And she said something very, I don't want to say strange, but it, it really struck me, is that she says the reason you're not finding motivation in what you're doing is because you, you're not talking about what it is that you want to talk about. Now, I talked about hair, and that was good and fine. But the essence of who I am and what I care about, she was saying, um, or the thing that I really want to say, I'm not saying it. So then I had to go and figure out, well, what is it that I want to say? And there are time, there are things I do have a lot to say on, but do I necessarily want to share it on YouTube? And that was the other thing. I'm like, well, yeah, I have, you know, viewpoints on things and things that I like to talk about. You know, I talk about it with my family, my girlfriends, or whoever, you know, but it's not... Uh, a burning thing that I have to get in front of a camera and put my conversations and my thoughts on YouTube. But Periscope came on. I started making just a few Periscope. And Periscope was fun, but I, I um, just happened to find I don't know how it, I don't know how it was, but I began to find these motivational vloggers. These these uh, Adia Rogers is number one, and Maddie James and her sister Maya, and all of these people who. Um, speak to they're really like coaching you into your purpose and they coach you into um, putting your brand out there now I don't necessarily have to have a brand you know and that's another thing I had to wrestle with you know I don't necessarily want to have a brand I mean I guess I do you know I, I have one because I'm on YouTube but I was just trying to share my journey um, and it came to a point where I felt that my journey had gotten kind of boring I mean, there are only so many hair videos that, you know, would uh, inform me or, or, or would interest me, I should say. And I think one of, those, one of the reasons for that is when I began to kind of master my own hair, I wasn't really looking for um, hair videos. I wasn't really looking to watch anyone else to see what they were doing with their hair because I had mastered mine and, or felt like I had mastered mine and I was pretty satisfied with mine and... <laughs> I had gotten kind of bored with mine. That's another video topic.